I noticed so many IRL tubers love reacting and commenting on how cringe us VTubers are, and I thought it would be a fun idea to do a little role play. I, I mean, role reversal, where I react to what these flesh tubers like to do for fun, and then we can judge them. And in my research, I noticed that people really like posts on the subreddit called Am I the A Hole? But we're on YouTube, so we're going to call it Am I the Sussy Baka, where they share their little stories on what goes on in their personal lives, and then we let random people on the internet deem them as sussy or not sussy, because yes, this is what normies really like to do for fun. Judging people. So today, I will be reading Am I a Sussy Baka Reddit stories and giving my opinion, and you're welcome to share your thoughts in the comments as well. Am I the Sussy Baka for returning a birthday gift I got from my boyfriend after he insulted me about my colorful past? Wow, what a wonderful way to start this off. Okay. This happened last night, but my phone is still blowing up. I female 26 dipped into my savings and got mike my boyfriend 27 a ps5 for his birthday yesterday Ooh, that's actually a really nice gift okay he knew he was getting a ps5 because he told me that the ps5 is the only thing he wants we've been together for four years so the cost didn't matter that is until i found out what he thinks about me oh okay um <laughs> you you said you've been together for four years and um you're only finding out now about what he thinks of you that's um oh boy i don't like where this is going some background when i was 18 i was involved with jake a guy who i met online we ended things after three months and i moved on shortly after with adam a guy from work <laughs> okay oh no i think i know where this is going oh my okay i swear to god if, if this has to do with like oh how many guys you've been with i'm literally going to be like bro like okay you know, let's read let's read i found out a couple months later that jake and adam were actually really close friends but i didn't know jake long enough to meet his friend groups so i had no idea oh oh no oh girl wait um we ended things after three months and i moved on shortly with after another guy oh no oh no okay i was upfront and honest with mike about my past and the fact that i unintentionally i was unintentionally involved as friends he said he understood in my past and didn't bother him last night at his party i showed up with the ps5 and him and his friends were screaming with joy okay his best female friend jessica laughed and said i wish i was a thought so i could afford a ps5 too wait wait what okay first of all jessica you can go f yourself okay that is like re that is that is uncalled for. I, I'm sorry, you're, you're, um, you're that insecure, Jessica? You're that insecure that somebody, another woman, the woman that we should be supporting and uplifting is making more money than you and is able to buy her boyfriend something that you really wanted and your reaction to that instead of saying, oh, you know, congrats, like that's so cool. It's I wish I was a thought insinuating that the only reason why she was able to get money is because she's a thought. Jessica, you're... <sighs> I bet Jessica's the kind of person that goes to her local, like, coffee shop and yells at her barista for, like, not making her dry cappuccino dry because she got almond milk with it, which, if you didn't know, um, almond milk doesn't foam very well. So it's really, really hard to get a lot of foam with the almond milk. So if you want it dry, which is pretty much just all foam, it's kind of impossible. That's how Jessica, that's, that's what I imagine Jessica's like. I looked at her with an, an excuse me look on my face and she just said, never mind and walked away. I confronted my boyfriend about it and he said, and I quote, she's just messing with you. You can't take a joke. No, no, I wouldn't take that joke either. Like that's not a joke. She's basically calling her a that's not a joke. First of all, how close is the, is OP with Jessica? Like, how close are, are they actually? Because if I didn't know somebody and my boyfriend's, like, friend said that to me, I would be like, what the hell? Why are you calling me a ho Like, no, no, that's not a joke. So I pushed further as to why this girl was even calling me names to begin with. And he said, well, everyone knows you were a thought before you met me. <laughs> Four years? Hold on. Four, four. I just want to make sure I'm, I read that right. We've been together for four years. Four years. And Jessica suddenly makes a thought reference out of nowhere? Okay. I asked him to explain how I was a thought before he met him. And he said, you know, messing with my best friend. <laughs> 
Okay. He then pat me on the shoulder and said that it's okay because I'm not who I was back then. And if he could get over my colorful past and thought mentalities to give me a chance, then I could get over Jessica's comments and give her another chance. Wow. I didn't say anything. I just got up, took the PS5 from the gift table and left. He was pissed. He literally called me to like 20 times, but I didn't care. I was so hurt that I took the bow off and took it straight back to the store I got it from. They happily re refunded it. I thought that this was done, but Mike and his friends, including Jessica, are berating me for being petty. And they all saying I brought this on myself for, by making poor choices. I responded to Mike and told him that he deserves better than me. So find someone who wasn't a thought and get the PS5 from them because I returned it. He started screaming how I'm the biggest a-hole for returning and how I should be happy he ignored my colorful past. I'm thinking maybe taking it back went too far. Am I the a-hole? No, <laughs> you are not the sussy but No, no, absolutely not. This is like textbook gaslighting straight up no op honey doll never make a man make you feel ashamed because they weren't the first ones to date you never i am just mm, i know these like reddit stories you typically like make a couple comments and move on but like i didn't read any of these like reddit stories all i did was kind of read the headline and then think oh maybe this could be like a really cool thing for this video and I, I have things I need to say. Like, this is so messed up. Like, first of all, who's this Jessica chick? You guys have been together for four years. Why is Jessica suddenly thinking that she can involve herself in this relationship and make comments like that? Like, that is unnecessary. If this is who your boyfriend was hanging out with, I wouldn't be surprised if he was cheating on you with Jessica because let's think about this for a second. He's like, oh, well, you should be thankful that I decided to take you in like a lost little stray cat after ending a relationship with my friend three months ago like bro it's three months and also like you decided to get with her doesn't that make you sh towards your friend jake for like hooking up with his ex doesn't that make you mike the actual like sh person because you i what's the word called you took you took jake's sloppy seconds or something like that like doesn't that make you the a-hole? Doesn't that like make you look bad? If you really believe, if you're gonna look down on your girlfriend after being with her for four years like that and let your friends diss your girl like that, you don't deserve to have a girlfriend. You never let anyone diss your girl, ever. So, mm. All right, so the comments on this. This thread is now locked due to an excess of rule violations. <laughs> Man, maybe a lot of us had very similar things. Um, I'm so confused, but maybe that's because I'm an old lady who got married around the time you were in kindergarten. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> hey, if anyone was in the wrong, Jake and Adam incident, it was Adam. You might have dated friends, but he dated his best friend's ex. That's on them to figure out and Adam's mistake only. And then it went from A to two, okay? Where I come from, dating three dudes in seven years is not a colorful past to make. Did Ho get a new definition since the early 2000s? Not the sussy baka. And I hope you do something special for yourself with a little, with a little of that money you got back from returning that gift you got from your ex-boyfriend. Because yeah, PS5s are expensive. Girl, get yourself your hair done, get your nails done, and go out and just shine. Go find someone who will actually treat you right and not like judge you for your past because that is just mess up. Up. So OP, I like how you stand up for yourself and did not take any crap. You went in to find out what was happening and got answers. The way he started screaming and giving you the you should be grateful just confirms you dodged a massive bullet. It makes me worry a bit of what else he has been saying to you, not only in this story. This isn't someone who loves you. That is someone who is using you for his own benefit. And secondly, it's a red flag that he told his friends about, about what you told him and that she felt so comfortable to use it as an insult. This shows me two people who don't respect you as a person. Please consider this relationship, to put it politely, these people still have a lot of growing to do and I think you should allow them doing it on their own. Yeah, I agree. I think that these are like very immature people and like they're probably already getting their Twitter cancellation threads up and ready, but no. OP is not the sussy baka. Am I the sussy baka for calling my coworker a nosy after she kept insisting to know my husband's salary. Ooh, ooh, this one's spicy, this one's spicy. My husband and I have both 33, have been together since college. Over the years, he's had quite the career trajectory. 
He's a quaint PM and makes like 10 times what I make and I make a good salary. <laughs> As we've grown wealthier, I've learned that people become nosier. Mmm, friends, acquaintances, relatives, you name it. In the beginning, I would entertain the nosy questions, but since I've turned 30, I've adopted a take no shit attitude. When people ask me how much he makes, I no longer say anything. I've learned the hard way that giving an exact number can have bad consequences. Mmm, yeah, um, oh, oh man, yeah, that's, that's, mmm. My coworker, 25, is new and she already has quite the reputation. Very chatty, catty, gossipy, you get the gist. Girl. <laughs> okay, you can just tell she craves wealth and status. What do you guys do for a job? I'm like curious. No, oh my God, now I'm being the nosy bitch. <laughs> She wears a bunch of flashy designer items and is always asking the ladies around the office which one of the men are single. Hmm. Last Friday, our office hosted an afternoon happy hour. She approached me and asked me how me and my husband's recent vacation to Europe went. I told her it went well and I briefly summarized what we did. The conversation went something like this. Her. So what does your husband do? Me. He works in finance. Her. Oh, wow. He must make a ton then to be taking you on all these lavishes vacations. I hope you don't mind me asking, but how much does he make in a year? Yes, we're very lucky that he makes a good salary. Polite smile. <laughs> Oh, come on. I won't tell anyone. How much does he rake in a year? Millions? Me, awkward chuckle. I'd rather not say, but it's up there. Her? What? He doesn't allow you to give an exact number or something? Me, visibly annoyed. No, I just prefer not to say. Her laughs in my face. You think the stuck up ones would be the ones with money, not the one without... Wait. What? Hold on, maybe that's my ADHD, my neurodivergent brain. I didn't understand that. You'd think the stuck up one would be the one with the money, not the one with the- Girl! Okay. Me, you should learn how to take no for an answer and when to quit being a nosy bitch. It's a valuable lesson. Then I smiled at her and walked away. Later on, I had a few coworkers reach out to me and say that she was crying and left early and that I should apologize for calling her a rude name. I refused. I told my mom and she said I was too rude to the new girl and that she's young and might not fully understand salary talk. <laughs> what? Mmm. 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 I think she's old enough. Husband is fully on my side, and but said maybe I should fake apologize for the sake of office politics, which I somewhat agree with, but still, am I the sussy pocket? No! No, you're not! You're not! Literally, I don't care how old, young you are. The f It's the fact that she called you a stuck-up one. Is that not considered rude? How is that not rude? They, oh, you think the stuck-up one wouldn't be the one with the money, but no, you're the broke-ass bitch. So, of course, you know, I just think that's kind of funny. She flat out insulted you, OP. She flat out insulted you. So, yeah, she's a nosy b Like, what the? I'm I think I'm being gaslit right now. I think I'm being gaslit from these stories. I am I am I really this emotionally invested? Is this like oh my god? No wonder why. No wonder why normies judge VTubers and like the people who consume VTuber content so much. Because literally, imagine working with somebody like this. Yeah, honestly, this per I don't know why I wanted to call her Jessica. I think I think I'm traumatized from the other story. I don't you know what? This is another Jessica, okay? This Jessica would be the kind of person that would probably laugh and they'd be like, <laughs> you just watch like anime girls up on screen. You must be like so like desperate for attention. Like wow. And you know, like some shit like that. Like, oh my god. Oh my god. I just uh, and I love how like people are like, be civil. No, no, people like her should be shamed publicly. Like literally, like that is so rude. And you're like, oh well, you're being so mean, OP. You know, like, you know, you made her cry. You you know, she called you poor. She called you poor and said you're stuck up, but you made her cry, so you should go apologize. No, no, absolutely not. No. No. I know women like her, the type to find out it's millions and then start sleezing all over your husband. Yep, that's it. That's exactly it. Mm -hmm. That is exactly it. Why else would she be going around being a, um, <laughs> honestly, is, is this Jessica? Is this, is this like story combined with the other story somehow? Like, are these stories connected? Is this our other Jessica? <laughs> 
Probably not, but it, could you imagine? That, that'd be crazy. I mean, that PS5 was kind of expensive. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But, ma'am, that's... Wow, I think I need to I need to take a sip of my gamer subs. I need to cool down from that right now. So that is just wild. Speaking of gamer subs, um, we're actually releasing a new strawberry and cream flavor today. So if you want to try a new flavor and get what? <laughs> Why did I want to say get creamed in your pants? What? Did I what was wrong with me? I I am just really frazzled by like these stories. I I I kid you not. I literally did not like read these before I selected them. I just kind of skimmed the titles and was like, okay, this might sound kind of interesting, whatever. But yes, please, if you want to try some new strawberry and cream gamer subs, make sure you use my code Mari for ten percent off your entire order and just kind of chill, relax while we continue to not get triggered by these eye holes, these stupid sussy bakas who just literally think they can just kind of insert their comments and nosy stuff into other people's lives and like just judge them like uh granted i mean i'm kind of judging them too but i think they deserve to be judged for being a sussy baka okay so this one's actually a really recent one compared to all the other ones that i had read this is only like a month ago and this one's called am i the sussy baka for telling my girlfriend i'm bothered by the way she and her family treat their house staff and i i'm sure you've uh, have been noticing a pattern here but a lot of this is people kind of judging and commenting on how other people choose to live their lives so let's get into this one i'm 25 male dating this girl 24 female for about five months. I knew her family was well off based on the story she told me about her upbringing, but I didn't get a chance to meet her parents until this week when we all went to their beach house to spend a few days and celebrate her father's 60th birthday. The house wasn't just huge, but it also employed a staff of about eight people. I... It was never used to being served like that, and I witnessed some behaviors from my girlfriend and some of her family towards the workers that made me feel uncomfortable. Some examples. Oh boy, I... Man, okay, so this is... This is very interesting because everyone said that this person is, in fact, the sussy baka, like, the a-hole in the situation, so I'm kind of curious, like, you know, because, like, when I saw this title, I thought maybe they were being really mean and, like, whatever, but, oh boy, mm. All right, let's see. A... After our first night, I heard her mother tell one of the housekeepers to clean the bathroom my girlfriend and I were staying in. I told her mother everything was in order and that I already made our bed before leaving. Her mother then told me, in the presence of the housekeeper, that I shouldn't bother because that's her, the housekeeper's job. B. The other morning, my girlfriend and I woke up after everyone else had had their breakfast. I went to the kitchen to grab some coffee and saw the cooks were already starting to prep for lunch. So I told them I didn't want to bother them and made the coffee myself. My girlfriend came to the kitchen moments later and saw me making coffee. Later that day, she complained to her mother without even asking me how things came about. That the cooks left me to make my own coffee. I had to explain everything. Okay, that one I could kind of see like, you know, she's getting upset thinking that like they just ignored him because he is like the guest and blah, blah, blah. And him be like, no, 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 I just didn't want to bother him. Okay, I can kind of like see that. See, on her father's birthday, they had a fancy dinner with some other guests like that came just for that day. And some of the staff was made to stand in the room with their backs to the wall as we sat at the table and ate. It was like some downtown Abbey. What in the heck is, what are you talking about? I kept my malt shut for the entire trip, but as soon as we came back, I couldn't hold it in any longer and told my girlfriend, it really made me uncomfortable to see how she behaved towards the staff and also gave some examples of instances where I felt her parents were rude to them. My girlfriend didn't take this well. She said that I'm the a-hole here for judging their lifestyle. In her mind, we had a perfect week together and I was withholding my judgment until I could unleash it all on her. I don't think I am an a-hole for speaking my mind. I mean, I feel like OP, if you were really that uncomfortable, you probably should have said something like earlier instead of waiting. I Okay, one of my biggest pet peeves is when somebody will like see you're making like mistake or doing something that they don't like and then they like wait until you finally finish doing it and being like oh by the way i didn't like that you did that and you did everything wrong blah 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 i i hate that so much because like dude if I'm doing something you actively are not enjoying or liking, why are you waiting until after it's done to make me feel worse about myself? Like, come on, like, speak up about it if you're that upset about it. And based off of the moderation comments, I guess, it looks like OP has offered the following explanations for why they, they might be the, the sussy baka. One, what action you took that should be judged? 
I complained about my girlfriend after we came back back from a trip of her family about the way she and her parents treated their stuff which in my mind was downright rude and then two why that action might make you the a-hole i kept my opinion to myself for the duration of the trip instead of sharing it with my girlfriend on the spot and i'm not sure if that's a valid opinion or just a lack of understanding their different lifestyle and yeah i kind of agree like okay i see why people are saying he is like the sussy baka for this but to be fair to be fair what i will say about op is like Look, I don't know the tone that the family or your girlfriend was talking to these people. I don't know if it was in an actual degrading thing or if you're just not used to like having staff around the house. I have no idea what that's like. I have no clue. But what I could imagine is like this whole like at least for like C where they're all standing behind their backs. Like he says that they were made to stand in the back. But I feel like maybe that's not the case. Maybe they're just standing behind there because they're making sure people are eating their food. And like maybe part of their job is when if someone needs something instead of being, you know, ringing a bell or something like, hey, get over here. There's some of them who probably are just standing to see, oh, OK, I see that like someone needs something. Someone dropped a napkin. They need to get a utensil. They need to refill on their drink. Let me walk over there and go do it. That I don't like necessarily think that like, you stand in the corner and watch us eat you dumb baka like i don't think that's probably how it was obviously people regardless of their job should be treated with respect but i just want you to consider a different perspective for a second the staff might be 100 percent okay with the behavior you saw if they're paid enough feel confident that it's a better job than other job options and outsiders seeing my job will probably think some parts of it are ridiculous but those parts are worth it to me as the person actually doing the job for example when your girlfriend's mother said don't make your bed that's the staff's job a staff member hearing that might think she's right please don't do my job for me because then she has no reason to pay me for that job that's so true yeah that's kind of what i mean it's like look i know like you're not used to that like having housekeepers and stuff if you're doing their job then like they literally don't need a reason to pay these people and like i've um watched like a video about like what it's like being a butler for people and it is very like rigid training there's a lot of stuff you have to kind of do to take care of like these very rich families but from what i have seen like when i would see like little documentaries about that i recall like a lot of people talking about how they're very grateful to have like this job because it pays for them and like their whole entire family it's like how they take care of their family because uh, i guess like these families pay these people a lot like a really good wage um we just don't know the whole context because we don't live that lifestyle and yeah this op is definitely an outsider who only is like only experiencing this for the first time you know what i mean i'm not saying that you're in the wrong feeling uncomfortable with the behavior you saw i'm just cautioning you that you might be white knighting for people who are actually okay with the work environment that you saw and i think that is something to be said because again he was only there for like a few days this is like the first time he's ever encountered any of this i think it would be different if they went there multiple times throughout the year and just saw like just very mean nasty comments and like i don't know saw like a staff member crying or like if you look at the expressions of the staff members and they're frowning and getting upset and like there's actual tension and awkwardness then i think then i think you know that would make a lot more sense but this is literally like the first time i it's just it's a little weird to me at least for point c i just think that they're waiters and part of like when i i used to be a waitress and part of my job as a waitress is to kind of stand there and watch people eat and the reason why you do that is if somebody needs a refill if somebody's struggling with their food what if they don't like it what if like they need like their food cooked a little bit more you kind of have to watch them eat to make sure that everything's okay at dinner and yeah that might be uncomfortable for people who are not used to that at like their house but if they have like a personal chef the chef wants to make sure everyone's enjoying their food and if they are not enjoying their food then it is the chef's job to make sure that the food is good and i think like the final comment for this whole thing too is op says that in the title that they disproved of the way the staff were treated but what they actually disproved of was the specific jobs they were employed to do they think they are showing solidarity for the staff but they are actually just showing that they find their jobs demeaning which i think that says a lot more about op than like than his girlfriend's uh parents and like how they live their lifestyle it's actually it was actually very interesting reading the comments under this whole entire thread because i think a lot of people brought up a very interesting discussion for this one especially since like 
you can kind of see both sides of it and like I, it genuinely just feels like op really kind of looked at this from a preconceived notion that house staff are like these lowly people which is not necessarily the case like i said there's a lot of great documentaries out there who talk about the lifestyle of being like a waiter a personal chef or like a butler and honestly i think that people should really like educate themselves before trying to act like they're doing this for the greater good of these people like they're getting paid to do a job and if again if it has to do with like the rudeness of their tones and they're actually being degraded then i understand but it doesn't seem to be the case i think op is being weird and unnecessarily being like a but i Honestly, I can't believe people still use the word white knight. I thought that was like a dead term now because now we get the whole emoji with the little glasses with the actually, I thought that was like the new white knight terminology. That's very interesting. I didn't realize Reddit is that old. <laughs> You know, I think I understand why all these YouTubers made so many reaction videos about us VTubers because honestly, it's kind of fun reading and talking about these little situations and giving my own thoughts and opinions, even though all this content has nothing to do with me. But what do you think about these stories? Would you like me to do another one of these Reddit stories? Maybe I could collab with another VTuber and have both of us read and comment our thoughts? Thanks so much for watching and remember, everything reminds you of something. Oh, and Jessica, if you want to make money being a thought, then why don't you become a...